Three, grammar, clauses of result. Look at this man. This is Marius Pujanowski. He is five times world's strongest man champion from Poland. He is strong. He can lift 100 kilograms. Okay, how many sentences do we have? We have two. One, he is strong. Two, he can lift 100 kilograms. This sentence is a result of this one. It's a result. Okay, I told you that he is strong. What is the result of this strength? The result is that he can lift 100 kilograms, no problem. What we will learn today is how to make this part make it a clause. That means we will combine these two sentences and make them one. There are two ways to do that. One is to say, he is so strong that he can lift 100 kilograms. Okay, this is one way. How many sentences do we have? We only have one, one sentence. Okay, the other way is to say, he is such a strong man that he can lift 100 kilograms. All right, is there a difference between this and this? Obviously, yes, we used so here, we used such. In both sentences, we use that. Okay, can we use so the same way we use such? No. What do you notice here? In here we have strong. Strong is an adjective. You can also use an adverb after so. In here, what do we have? We have strong, which is the adjective, but we also have a noun. Noun. This is why we have a, because this is one man. We need a, a strong man. So every time, you have an adjective and a noun, use such. If you don't have a noun after the adjective, what do you use? You use so. And we finish today's grammar. What do you think? Super easy, right? Before I show you the exercises uh, on page 49, take this adjective. It's an adjective, just like strong, strong, easy. Use this adjective in two sentences. One time I want you to use so, one time use such. Can you do that? I believe you can. Just try. Now tell me, have you tried? Let me show you my examples. This grammar, today's grammar, is so easy that I don't need to watch it again. I will only watch this video once. Why? Because it's so easy that I don't need to watch it again. Okay, so, adjective easy, and then that. How can we repeat the same thing using such? This is such an easy grammar. And, because we have grammar, grammar is a noun. We can't say a easy grammar, no, uneasy grammar, that I don't need to watch it again. Both sentences give the exact same meaning. I think we are ready to move on to this exercise. Now, fill in the blanks using so or such. 1. The meal, the food they served us, they gave us, was so or such. Delicious that, okay, delicious. Delicious is an adjective. There is no noun here. So, so delicious that we ate it immediately. We didn't wait. Two, we had a good time. Good adjective. And time, time is a noun. A good time. Just like a strong man. Such a good time. Three, it was a big cake. A good time. A strong man. Such that we couldn't eat it all. 4. Omar has improved much at maths. Oh, look, don't tell me that math is a noun. Okay, much is not an adjective. 
Much is an adverb. Okay. Do we have a noun after the adverb? No, no. We have at. It's very different. So you use so. So much, not such much. Okay. For a reason. This one is an adverb, not an adjective. And there is no noun after it. That he has become one of the top students. Five. You've got nice boots. All right. So or such. Now, don't be fooled. Okay, maybe you don't see a here. So you think, okay, so nice boots. No. Boot is a noun, but we don't have a because there is an S here. We only use a when it's singular. One. A man. A cake. A good time. But we have boots. When you say good times, do you use a, a good times? No. We had such good times. Because there is no a, because there is an s. So, boots is a noun. Such nice boots that you don't need to buy new ones. Six. My best friend can cook well. Well is an adverb. An adverb. Just like much. So well that I'm sure he'll become a chef. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. Goodbye.